Okay, so, that look guys, it's me, Gaming Star here, and today I am back in an episode of The Great Ace Attorney Adventures. Last time, we had basically done the first case, The Great Departure. And, uh, yeah, we, we got now guilty, we, rec we refrained from murder, and we got now guilty, and we basically got Giselle Brett, basically, um, you know, caught for the crime, but she won't be, uh, but she'll be in, the, in Shanghai instead. Yeah, uh, you have to watch the whole thing. This time, we're gonna go ahead and do the investigation only case, the adventure the Unbreakable Speckles Band. Shall we? So it's gonna be all pure investigation, there is no trial, pure investigation. And I think I'll still keep it in Japanese, the voices. So for now, the voice will be in Japanese. I'll switch it to English once we get to England. That's going to be my plan. So I'll do that. So I'll go through the options later once this case is done and change it to English. To English voices. So yeah, I'll do that. But for now, it's going to be in, in Japanese. Because remember, technically not in England yet. I want to make it that way. Let's go, shall we? This could be a three-part um, two part investigation. Yeah, pretty long one.深い闇の中で、ホームズと私は息を潜めて待っていた。やがて、通気口から収集と低く唸るような音が聞こえてきた。その瞬間、突然ホームズが飛び出して闇の一点をステッキで鋭く打ち据えた。三田川とそん、
I I can't move. Oh fuck. Ah, uh, what the? Why am I in handcuffs? <laughs> so you wake up now. <laughs> we had to drag you out of the world. Bro. I do not believe how you could not wake up. You true cold blooded man. You. <sighs> you found me then. Da. We found you. Now you pay, criminal. How long are you hiding in that tiny wardrobe? Uh, sorry. Now you haven't found. It's time to admit your crimes. Unless you want to find out how cold the ocean is. <gasps> no, 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 I'll tell you everything. There's only one thing I'd like to know from you. Isn't that? Why did you do it? Why did you take his life? Miss Susato! Wait, what did you say? Take his life? Um, wait, uh, where is he? Where's Kazuma? Ha! You pretend to not know! You are Wolf in Chief's belt! You are the killer! Make excuses! What? Kazuma-sama was... Kazuma-sama's body was discovered not long ago. Oh, come on! You're in this very cabin. It's both shut from the inside. His body? Please. I'm not trying to tell us you were doing this terrible thing in your sleep. Kazuma's dead? He can't be. And these handcuffs. Surely you don't think I... I have to know. Why did you take Kazuma-sama's life? Answer me, please! Please. No. <gasps> no! What? <laughs> Kazuma, it was just two short weeks ago. Are you sure about this? Won't we get in trouble? <laughs> Don't you find it fun being a stowaway? Besides, how else could you come to England with me to study? It was really something else when they brought your luggage in here earlier, though. The way the Russian crewman just tossed your traveling case onto the floor. I thought I was gonna die! <laughs> yes, I still can't quite believe that either. I really didn't think you'd be able to fit inside my trunk. <laughs> you must be even less of a man than you look. Hey, honestly, I thought I'd broken every bone in my body. Well, it's five, 50 days until we dock the Great Britain. Damn. But if you can find yourself in my cabin, that's like a few months. I don't expect anyone to discover you. Oh, I hope not. I, don't know, I, get, I get this fe feeling those Russians wouldn't be forgiving in the to a stowaway. A Russia, a Russia stowaway, eat you. There's a sturdy bunch, for sure. What I want to know is, why do you why do you need to keep it in a secret from a young lady? From our faithful judicial system, Mikatoba, you mean? From your close friend? More to the point, surely we would confine in her, wouldn't we? I don't believe she'd give me away. No, but if she knew what would be done, that would make her guilty by association. It's best that only you and I know about this. Hmm, I suppose. Anyway, it's about time we steward is, steward is supposed to come and clean the cabin. I know it's cramps, but you better get in there. I think it won't be long. And anyway, compared to hiding inside my traveling case, it'll be a breeze. Yes, but... What if the steward decides to open the wardrobe for some reason, then I'll be for it. Stop worrying. I'll tell you what. Why don't you write keep out for something a piece of paper? What? Then I can stick the wardrobe doors once you're inside. I don't know. What I find really funny is that, uh, is that, like, the Japanese voices, like, they actually, you know, you know whenever it says Sherlock Holmes, her, Sher Herlock, it's actually supposed to be Sherlock Holmes, but, you know, because, again, copyright problems. Nowadays, though, it's not really much, but remember... Like a year ago when this game released, you know, like, yeah, 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 but like, you know, this version released, but funny how straight up, like when you put the Japanese voices on, it's still, they still say Sherlock Holmes, not Herlock Holmes. They never, they never changed that. So it still says Sherlock Holmes. So if you want to get the original Sherlock Holmes, they still have that, which is really funny. We've only been at sea for about 15 days. How can this have happened? I found how they never changed that. We're supposed to be going on this adventure to England together. They never changed that at all. Oh, the subtitles changed, but outside of that, everything is pretty much the same in terms of Japanese voices. We'll leave you to the next port. Stay quiet until then, making more trouble for yourself. Murder! I'm not again for like the second time in a row I got framed for murder. What is this? 
best sister and successor in here. Duh, you said it before you admit that everything about the crimes. No, that's not right. I mean, yes, I did stow away in a ship, but murdering my best friend? Fuck battery! No one else could have done it. Admit the truth. I do everything! Um, Susato san. Please tell me what happened. I need to know. Very well. But there's something I would like to ask of you too. Ugh, eyes. She looks like she's ready to destroy me. The nightmare's getting worse by the minute. I suppose all I can do is try to find what really happened. Uh, Kazuma's death. He he really has been killed, hasn't he? This isn't just a bad dream. And these handcuffs. They think I did it? They think I'm Kazuma's killer? When they found him, the cabin was locked from the inside. What do you mean? There's no access to the cabin by a porthole window, and the, the bolts of the door can't be operated from outside. In other words, after the crime, the culprit wouldn't have escaped from four walls. What? Or to put it another way, the culprit can only have been someone inside this cabin. Or do you have some other explanation? This is impossible! How did he die then? What happened exactly? Are you still gonna deny the charge, even despite the circumstances? Please, Susato san, you have to tell me! The cause of death is still undetermined. They don't know how he died? The ship's doctors examine the body, but of course he has no post-mortem analysis experience. I don't suppose we shall learn more than the next race because ultimately it's part of call. So presumably that means there were no obvious external signs of injury then. That's true, yes. About the incident. Can anyone tell me what happened here in this cabin? I don't understand it. Why would anyone want to kill Kazuma? Presumably that's something you know you know an answer better than anyone. Please! Whatever you say, you were here in the cabin after all. Well, yes, I was, but... He would always wake before dawn and do this training first thing in the morning. I was waiting outside his cabin as the everyday foreign voyage, but this morning he did not come. I, I could sense that he wouldn't. But does that mean he was already dead and Sutato san arrived in the cabin door, I wonder? I knocked, but there was no reply. Then I started to become worried and wanted to find a member of the crew. The crewmen forced the cabin door open, and when we managed to get inside... There was Kazuma-sama, collapsed on the floor. And the white tape is now shows exactly where he was found, I suppose. I had no idea anything had happened. I, I must have been asleep in the wardrobe somehow. I wish it wasn't the case, but it's just very hard to believe. This is all very hard for me to believe, too. Trust me! Now I've been told you everything that I know. So it's my turn to ask you the question. Yes? Alright. Oh, I feel so heavy, I still probably like anything. Stowaway. Oh boy. <laughs> Why are you even on the board to ship, Narahoda san? You said something about being a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, yes, I'm afraid that's true. It's two weeks since we left Japan now, and I've been shut up inside his cabin the entire time. I had no idea. But how could he have occupied Kazuma Sama's cabin so long without him noticing? No, 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 that would have been impossible, obviously. Yes, of course. Kazuma invited me. He wanted me to go to. He wanted to go singing with the get her. Eh. He actually asked you? But why? I'm afraid I don't really know the reason myself. I don't understand. Kazuma, why do you want this? What's the real reason? Why do you go such extreme lengths to smuggle me to England with you? It's an idea that has been on my mind ever since the end of this incredible trial. I think I told you then, didn't I? That you ought to become a lawyer yourself. Well, yes, you did say that, but I didn't think you were serious. You have a talent for it. I can assure you of that. But I never really thought of becoming a lawyer. Well, that's something you can decide for yourself. London is a spearhead of cultural development, the center of the world in many ways. There can be convenient harm to see such an important sworn place with your own eyes, can there? Well, no, definitely not. But only on a personal. If you were to become a lawyer, then... Then what? Nothing. Forget it. Huh? Kazuma-sama is... He was always saying the same thing. That he wanted to change the Japanese legal system. Perhaps he thought he could do that with you. 
Yes, maybe. But something's still bothering me a little. The look in his eyes then. It was darker than I've ever seen it before. Um, Shitato san. I'm sorry that we kept that secret from you. My stowing away in the ship, I mean. I know Kazu. If I know Kazuma sama, I expect he was trying to protect me to avoid me becoming a victim of association. That's that's exactly right, yes. We're perfect, in fact. Last night. If you're not the culprit, then tell me what happened last night here in the cabin. Well, the thing is, I don't really remember. Kazuma brought me something to eat, just like he always did. And then I got myself to the wardrobe over there, just like I always did as your bear. After that, I fell asleep. Well, yes. How do you fall? Oh, God. So deeply that you need to stir when Kazuma somehow was killed? Um, well, y yes. I know it sounds unbelievable, really. I do. But it's the truth. I guess I can see about anything. If only I'd woken up, then perhaps I wouldn't be in this predicament. And for some reason, my head's still throbbing like anything. Really? Maybe it's being tossed around. Mm, something wrong? Oh, um, no, it's... Please, forget it. as san you have to believe me. I didn't do it. I, I really do, I, I really don't want to. But the trouble is, there is no one else that could possibly have done this. Ugh. I'm changing the volume a little <laughs> on the uh, audio. Kazuma, I don't understand. Why? Why did I have this happen? Ugh, I can't take this. Don't try to go anywhere. You're the perpetrator of this crime, so you can't leave. I can't allow you to. I'm sorry, but Kazuma was killed under right under my nose here, and I didn't do anything to stop it. And now I'm supposed to just sit around, my hands tied, while whoever did this walks free? No, I can't allow this to happen. Well, what do you propose to do then? Investigate. I'm going to investigate. I'm going to find out exactly what happened here. I'm going to work out who took Kazuma's life and how I did it. So I'm sorry, but you're going to have to excuse me. Hiya! Ow! Bro! <laughs> what the? That was a Susato take, though. A Susato. What? What martial art form is that? I'm going to need you to prove it. Sorry? Prove it? Yes! Your innocence. I need evidence. But how am I supposed to? You have forgotten already. You just see just a few weeks ago. You just have to defend yourself in court of law. Ah, uh, I see. She's expecting me to present some conclusive evidence. I have this is this to believe me. I'll share some evidence right now. Keep out. This is the paper I wrote, I wrote for the war drive. I remember it's hard to make it, but I never because I reacted. Do you expect the Russian crew to be able to read that? He said. Still, I was sure people would get the idea, even if they couldn't read. So we used it anyway, and it worked. I don't know if the crew thought it was creepy or what, but no one opened the door. People really do find the kind of the stuff creepy. This. Tell me, what I discovered in the wardrobe before. Was this piece of paper stuck in the nerves? Oh, yes it was. I clearly remember. I thought so. Kazuma always put it in place whenever I went to sleep in there. Just in case the cabin steward or another crew member decided to look inside. So naturally, he did the same last night as well. Ah, yes, of course. The gentle the gentleman who discovered you peeled the sign from the wardrobe doors before he opened them. But if I were a culprit, I couldn't have climbed back inside the wardrobe and stuck this outside the doors of my own. Yes, that's quite true. In other words, it's impossible that I kill Kazuma. Well, even if you're sprawled hopelessly on the floor, with your hands tied, I can see why Kazuma Sama thought so highly of you. Thank you, Susato san. Now, do you think perhaps you could help me up? I'm stuck over here. Please? Help? Well, the light of that evidence, I don't see any reason why I should stop you from investigating my case. Thank you! So you finally believe me? I'm sorry. No. What? I'm not sure yet. Understandable. I can't rule out the possibility that you use some sort of conjuring trick to put up the sign back in position. What? Does she think I am a magician? For now, I suggest investigate what's really possible in here. I'll do the same. Alright, let's go over to the Sito Sun. Please don't miss me. I still have my doubts. Oh, I shall be watching you to make sure you did nothing but disturb the current scene. And when I want you using conjuring tricks to destroy evidence, for example. All right. Well, anyway, I shall start making investigate again. Examine everything I can. 
Kazuma, I swear, I will avenge your death. Let's examine, shall we? So what do we got here? A little bell piece. What do you think this is? Looks like a broken piece of glassware. Whatever the thing is, it appears to be broken clean in two. The glass is such a beautiful color. It looks like a cute little neck Netsuke fastener from a kimono of it. I'm not sure that sounds like Kazuma. He would have secretly carried a cute little trinket like around with him, would he? It's marked beside. I wonder what it is. Looks like some brick like hue. It kind of looks like ink. Yes, you're right. It's color of a brick, isn't it? Even though I don't see anything the same color anywhere in the cabin. That's that's interesting. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Oh dear, that won't do. Oh, what's the matter, Sister Sun? Whenever I'm examining things, I always find myself focused. I forget to look around properly. Ah, oh, yes, it's nothing. This shows you for looking around the whole sun. So yeah, basically like tutorial about investigations. It's basically a tutorial about investigations case. Because remember, we had the tutorial. We had last episode. We had tutorial about trials. Then we tutorial about investigations. Yeah, two tutorial cases. And then third episodes where everything basic, where you use all your skills so far, and then the final case is where everything just kind of comes together and like... And then the second game is where everything goes, like, everything comes together perfectly. But yeah, that's a very large traveling case, isn't it? Yes, it carries a lot of memories for me. <laughs> memories! What do you mean? Well, that's actually how I stowed away from this vessel. I was brought aboard inside that case. Ah, uh, yes, I see this this way up in Japanese. Which is, in hindsight, I should have realized a foreign crewman couldn't be able to read. I was turned over and over and over, and I was tossed on the floor in here. Oh, dear. Bring stories in a romantic as it sounds. No. <laughs> well, it was less painful to Susato take them. <laughs> God. All right. We have uh, the katana. That's Kazuma-sama's precious sword. He never went anywhere without it. Yes, he always saying the Japanese man's katana is his soul. I believe he had to work very hard to convince the government to allow him to bring in this trip. I suppose that shows how important it was to him. And now he's gone, but I'm not ready to tell his spirit go just yet. And then we have the, the, the chicken. The chicken from last night. The vendor from last night. A roast chicken. It was really tasty. Yes, it was very delicious, wasn't it? But... Did you eat the floor here? I'm not a dog, sister the sun. I ate the table, of course. Which begs the question of why I want to play in the on the floor. Hmm. But Kazuma-sama didn't eat the- didn't like chicken at all, did he? No, that's right. So he didn't touch it. Which meant that all is weren't more for me. Oh no, does that- does that mean poor Kazuma-sama spent his last night on Earth with an empty belly? It's just too horrible. Oh, now I suddenly have a kid to conscious and make this thing. Oh, that table kind of looks a bit, uh, something on the table at all. The, pl the play color all over the floor for some reason. Yep, strange. Last night when I went to sleep, after everything was still. No, wait a minute. What is it? That's funny. I can't seem to remember anything about what happened after dinner at all. So then perhaps you are responsible for what happened because of something. No, 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 no! Se Saiji. The Japanese word for justice. The brush strokes are straight and true, just like Kazuma. Yes, it's calligraphy always a reflection of his heart. Yet you, you can really look at her without feeling shame knowing her dreams of suffering. Of course I can! I mean, I'm innocent, so why should I be able to? Even though you're still away. <laughs> now you're going to bring that up, are you? I can't win! Hmm, let's see. The little vent. I think the same opening for a ventilator. We'll hold through the fresh air in the cabin. Isn't that a little odd? What do you mean? Well, it's a ventilator. Where is it? It looks like it must be connected to the next door cabin. Yes, it would appear to. You're right. But if it's a purpose of fresh air into the room, surely it would be connected from outside. That's true. Hmm, that's true. Perhaps it's so drained, strain will find a way in the seas are rough or something like that. I suppose. Maybe that's it. This is... Yes, it's a bell cord contraption, I think. What do you mean, contraption? I read about it in the book stunning. I talked about life in Green Britain. Large households often have a bell cords like this, which you can pull the ring bell, summon servants. Really? That sounds almost magical. Shall we give it a little try? <gasps> yes! In the interest of cultural research, obviously. Mario, come here. Come here! Come here! Come here, Mario. I suppose nobody comes for lily Japanese people. No, no, I'm sure it's just everyone's busy, that's all. 
And then we have the Russian text and the cabinet. Battery! It's two weeks since we set stuff in Japan. Have you really been living in the wardrobe the entire time, Nadahono san? I think living isn't quite the right description. Oh, no, I suppose not. Battery! I love most of my rather exciting making this voyage in your own secret hideout. The trouble was, I never knew when a member of the crew might come in. So yes, I basically had to live in the wardrobe. And last night was no exception. That because of that, you have no idea what's happening here in the cabin. No, sadly, no. And then at his desk. This is where Kazuma Sama would have sat whenever he was writing. London Diary. Poor Kazuma. He's really gonna make this destination. As though the last entry is complete. Which means, what? He was in the middle of writing when the incident happened? Let's see what it says. It could be a valuable clue. Hiya! That's out of the question! What? Kazuma Sama may have departed this world, but you must not read his private thoughts. But, but what if it's something important? Something relevant to the case. All right, all right, I won't read it. I don't like praying to people for some manners either, but in this case, this is need for equals one point. Okay, this is interesting. What happened here? It looks like like the boat kind of like, like you know, looks like something stopped and kind of boat just went woo. Kind of like you know, the boat stopped and the sun stopped and everything just kind of tumbled. The books have fallen over the shelf. Look, they topped all the way, same way. Is this some statue of the god of the sea? Oh, those fallen over as well. Yes, it's almost as like the whole shelf has been ransacked. Everything went down. I wonder if perhaps it was because someone's doing this morning sport training. You think? I seriously doubt it. Then perhaps it was not you, not hold a sand fit of rage. Bought a leaving the war I would have bought a leaving the wardrobe just to mess a few books in a statue. Could have saved the throne into anything in the case. Wow, well, I just said everything straight again is a mess. Nice. <laughs> nice and cleany. Alright, so it's nice and cleany now. And then we have the Russian text. Yeah, Russian. Why would a Japanese write in Russian? Yeah, it's a big red flag. Did Kazuma write that before he died? It looks like he's writing in ink. Written in purple ink. They must have knocked the ink pot from the desk when he collapsed on the floor. But it's in Russian. I suppose he wrote this much dipping his fingers to spill. Poor Kazuma Sama. No doubt he's terrible pain was unbearable to imagine. I suppose he was trying to lose some kind of clue in the final ones, was he? I'm sorry. But I can't read your name. But that is not that is not Japanese. I don't think this Japanese not a Hoda son. What? Then what language is it? Russian? It pains me to admit it, but I don't know. Is the foreign script I'm familiar with what does mean, I wonder. So it looks like it might be European. Oh, how did he? Oh my god, <laughs> that scared me, dude. You've noticed the man too, have you? I'm like, holy shit! I don't know who he is. We've got in there. He looks suspicious and tall. Suspiciously tall. Now, hold a second. Don't tell me. Do you really not know who he is? Um, well, nope. I don't have any foreign friends or acquaintances at all. He doesn't look like a member of the crew. There's very something unusual about him. Is he investigating because of his desk? We're just playing and I can't tell. Well, in that case, I simply must talk to him. I'm just gonna imagine this is the sun and the ones are excited. By the way, I expect you notice already, but just in case, if you press A, people will converse with them. Right, then I guess pursue toward the gentleman. Oh, please do. Hi! <laughs> um, excuse me? Excuse me! Do you have a moment? Shh! This is a critical point of my investigation. <laughs> Maybe I should leave him alone. She seems more friendly. Yes, perhaps it would be for best. Ah! Hi! Grace, I hope you haven't kept you. <gasps> yeah! Bro! Sholmes! What's the guy doing Christmas desk just now? Hi, Sholmes! Uh, I see. Fascinating. Uh, sorry, what do you see? It feels like he's looking right through me. Oh, yes, everything is clear now. The train of reasoning has run its course, but deductions have crystallized. You! I've been in Afghanistan, I perceive! Just recently returned, I'm not mistaken. Sorry. What?! And now, whilst venturing toward foreign climes, you find yourself in the most troubling predicament. Oh, that's true, at least. But, uh, but how? 
had to deduce, you know that, perhaps? It was really a most elementary deduction, hardly worth explaining. Have you perhaps managed to deduce anything else? But of course, a great many things. There's the mystery, my dear madam, for example. You have fled your native land of Russia, being as a merciless revolutionary! <laughs> You leave 16 victims of assassination, your wake and I travel to England to blow up the Crystal Tower. And when the big ribbon cut into the very cabin to discover your identity, you ended his life too. What? This one summarizes the facts beautifully. There is a hide the truth now. Nothing deceives these eyes. Uh, um, 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 uh. Let's be clear, you weren't talking about me. Are you? Certainly I am. Do you see a nutter in this cabin who fits the bill? Russian assassin with 16 victims in this day. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even see one person who fits the bill! So it's true. It was you who did it because of Osama. What? And you're planning a revolution too? It's shameful behavior that'll hold us on. It's absolutely wicked. No, listen, there's no- ah, yeah. <laughs> Now explain yourself. Tell me everything. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh god. How could you do it? For pity's sake, open your eyes. I'm not a Russian revolutionary, obviously. Oh, forgive me. And as for you, what kind of deduction was that? You were just saying the first thing that came into your head. Ah, oh, but it was not right. No. While venturing toward foreign climes, you do find yourself most troubling predicament. Do you not? Well, yes, maybe. Ha! Huh? There you have it, you see. What do you make of that, hmm? Well, to be honest... This ship is route to England, and I'm handcuffed to the scene of her murder. So I am not sure what you could call a deduction. It's more plain... Observation? Indeed, an observation, my dear boy. This is all deduction. I just found the observations of triffles, you see. I know, so funny, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny. And more often than not, I'm right. Ha! <laughs> I don't think you introduced yourself. Ah, my apologies. Ah, remiss of me. I'm none other than the greatest detective of all the century, known to men and women all over the world. The inevitable Sherlock Holmes. Or Sherlock Holmes, whatever. So, it's really you. The actual Sherlock Holmes? The very same. The inevitable actual Sherlock Holmes. Or Sherlock Holmes, whatever. Do you know this man, Sato san? The most famous detective in the world, not a hold of sand? Of course I do, just nobody who hasn't heard of him. What planet have I been living on? <laughs> we must ask him if he's deduced. So I have to work the entire case already, I'm sure. Really? Why do I feel uneasy about this? And we have the sign here. These are rules of passive travel to SS Buria. It's essentially a list of requests from the captain to all passengers aboard. Passengers must not keep weapons or other dangerous objects in the cabins. Pets are strictly forbidden. What? Why are you staring at me? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking. Are you more a dangerous object or a pet? <laughs> I can't decide. Well, as long as either way, I was supposed to be here. Hmm, that bell on the floor is pretty interesting. Well, go ahead and talk to Sholmes here. Great detective. Mario, come here, boy. What are you doing? So, you're a great detective, are you? Sorry, what was your name again? Indeed, I'm noted in the one and only Herlock Sholmes. Oh, I see. You're German. Herlock. Was it? No, no, no. I've no her. I mean, I have hair. Please call me Sholmes. You, you can read all the exploits in the exciting London publication. Oh yes, the Randis magazine full of wonderful short stories and interest articles from Bruger, Britain. I never miss an issue. It says from England, especially. Oh uh, yes, here it is. The Adventures of Herlock Holmes. Come here, Mario. So you're the protagonist in the series of short stories, then? Indeed I am. And you've started so many of your own stories, you started to think you really are a detective? Make no mistake, I'm the point of the you Take me for. Your inference is backwards. Backward? Oh, let me flip you. My trusty biographer records the greatest detecting achievements and chronicles them in the magazine. Oh, hello, Mario. Your, uh, your diaper is like, Mario! Let me cover you. There we go. Thank you. Oh, you have a biographer? Do you? 
Doesn't everyone? Mine goes by the name of Dr. Wilson. Presently keeping shop in London. Dr. Wilson. I must say, thanks for my publication, I've been fantastically busy of late. Why, this very moment, I'm returning from Asia, having solved the mystery of a cursed royal crown. Really? I can't work out either way I should take this man seriously or not. Deduction, you see, is to be science logical reasoning is purest form. A science? Really? The astute obs observer knows even most subtle reactions to subject. A furtive glance, a twitch of muscle, a slight inclination of the posture. Fingernails, arms, sleeves, furrows in the skin. All of these things are data. Right. And the trained logis logician makes deductions to the date in the blink of an eye. The ultimate conclusion is, without a fail, the truth. As it demonstrates only a few short moments ago. How can he look at me in the eye and claim that? So you see, I have turned both observation and for deduction in vain. That is what makes me women the only her no her Lock Sholmes. Kazuma's death. Kazuma's death. Have you managed to deduce anything about his particular case? Have I managed to deduce anything? My dear fellow. Who are you supposed to discover the culprit is the most cunning hiding place? That's right. It was none other than the great detective before you now, Mr. Herlock Sholmes. I see, in other words. I'm in these now because of him. When I became anxious about Kazuma-sama this morning, I summoned all the crew members to force the cabin door open. And concealed myself among their number, getting entry to see the crime. Yes, lucky delivery when the great detective Herlock Sholmes was on board. And the handcuffs seem to be excellent fit, Mr. Madahub. Ah! The very moment I laid eyes on the scene, the two facts were immediately apparent to me. Oh, really? Two facts, you say? Two facts. Mr. Sholmes, tell us, please. It's two facts are apparent to you when you came to the cabin this morning. Ah, oh, yes, but first let me precise. These two facts in question were immediately apparent to me. Yes, yes, I understand that. But what were they? Allow me to... It's insight. Ah, oh, I can't see. The, the two facts I do this in the mirror momentary glass of the scene the crimes were as follows. Number one, the cabin was locked from within, rendering escape of the culprit without a question. Number two, the victim was Russian and killed the following dispute with the plates. Hold on, Mr. Sholmes, what made you think the victim was Russian? Observe the dying message of the victim on the floor. It's in Russian. I, I, I knew it was Russian from the start. Tab, I can't read Russian. That was Russian word for wardrobe. What? Why wardrobe? Do you really think Kazuma Zemo could have left a dying message in Russian? Could have been in Japanese, most likely. In the final moments, many find their native tongue filling their head. This young man, Russian. Kazuma was Russian. We'll see. And if she had considered Gadjurab may be the name of the killer, so Robert Gadjurab. But in the case of just foreigners, I decided it would be wrong. Let's look inside the wardrobe, but at least. Right now, this would not hold us sleeping soundly. This is not hold us sleeping soundly? Quite so. I found you, the renowned Russian revolutionary killer. Why is it that I'm Russian too? I observed that you were wearing the same attire as the victim. In other words, you were acquainted. And if my memory serves, the outfit is a traditional dress of Russian people. Our school uniform is a traditional dress of Russian people? I, I had no idea. And I had no idea the detective could get something so wrong. I took a photograph of the victim and the, the message that I don't have any details. This. Immediately after the young man was discovered, before the body was removed. Yes, the customer has already been taken away when I woke up. This is the first time I watched a scene like this. Are you alright, Mr. Nadahada? Um, yes, thank you. The photograph of the crime scene has been entered, so this will be important. Could I ask you something, Mr. Shoshones? What? You mentioned Russia before as well, didn't you? You know, when you said I was, I was fierce and revolutionary feeling from Russia for and all that shit. Ah, oh, yes, the train racing money to the truth. Will you explain the train racing to me? Do you think? I can read Russian. Uh, certainly, if interested. How many times? I am not Russian, and I don't speak Russian. Deduction. Deduction just now. Um, can we talk? I only know like two languages and a half. Like three and a half. Like two and a half. Almost a third, which is Italian, but that's another story. I mean, talk about deduction of things, because I mean, I mean, a little bit Japanese in some things, but not really. How for famously accurate, troubling predicament you find yourself in? Actually, it was other details of what have been discussed. You know, for a merciless Russian revolutionary assassin of 16 part? 
Ah, yes, the more sore details was fairly commonplace deduction. We have this morning's paper. And the main, main headline reads Revolutionary villain of Boriskeskedik flees Russia via Shanghai. Batteries! This vessel made a poor call in Shanghai yesterday, and last night the young Russian was murdered. Since when was Kazuma a Russian? It sounds like Mr. Sholmes would conclude he was Russian because of what Kazuma and Sama wrote on the floor. But as was not him. If simple act of reasoning realized how the culprit had described this crime, it's a much but we will kill very bad and hope to escape that true identity was discovered. Yes, you, Viling Broskovi. No, 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 it's not gonna be me! I don't look anything like that man! Just look at his face! Well, you're right, you're so revolutionary, after all. Therefore, you have no doubt learned revolutionary your appearance as well. Ugh, please. And I might add, your name does not appear on the ship's passenger list, need I say more? Well, because I'm a stowaway! Now, what about the other details? The 16 victims' assassination blowing up the Crystal Tower. Ah, yes, a journalist clearly interviewed the man and printed all his particulars in articles. The deeds this man perpetuated thus far, and those are plotting. Yes, everything about this revolutionary bus. Boris Vesker was included. There's no mistake. I cannot. Sorry, I'm gonna put your Russian. Do revolutionaries usually agree with interviews of newspaper reporters, I wonder? I don't think so! And what about the part where he said I'm just returning from Afghanistan? Also quite clear stated in his article. What is this? Recently returned for a period of subversive activities in a war-torn region of Afghanistan. Where even is it anyway? This Afghanistan place. Here, take the paper for yourself, a little mental degree deduction. Oh, uh, thank you! I've observed all of interest in me with the pages in the rubbish bin nearby. Okay, so we're gonna check that out, actually. And if you find the article back to interest as well, on the back, I will go take interest in you to interpret. It's all in Russian, we can read. But suppose there's this guy's article with a picture or two. I actually like the pictures. You're just investigating. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out, shall we? Here we go. Ooh, all right, let's go and check the front real quick. This is the uh, revolutionary guy. I'm afraid I can't read a word of Russian. No, me, me neither. I have no idea what it says. The pair of you, Philandrick, sorry, 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 let me talk to some assistance. The article on the front page is newspapers concerned a fearsome Russian revolutionary. It reads, revolutionary villagers flees Russia via Shanghai. It reveals so that those who see the man's beard with their own eyes will live, will live to tell the tale. Oh my goodness, he is fearsome! Well, presumably the newspaper photographer was alright, wasn't he? <laughs> the solution is obvious, of course, it despises the beard to the degree and only shave it off. I'm not quite sure what's the problem, Mr. Jones. <laughs> and then we have some. Let's see, here we go. We have, yeah, we do have a revolutionary, and then it's a revolutionary. The back. This is the interesting part. We have a ballerina. Huh, this is interesting. Have you found something relevant, Mr. Not a Hodosan? Well, no, I. It looks. It might be interesting. I can't read a single word, I'm afraid. No, nor can I. But look at this picture. Perhaps it's about a beautiful young Russian princess, do you think? She is very pretty, so she has a place to enjoy articles like this, too. Uh, I don't know. I can't make any sense of it. Ah, I'm glad you have noticed this article. Ah! Allow me to give you a short summary of its contents. Oh, thank you! He pops up every word as Mr. Sholmes. It's about the disappearance of a young lady last night. Renowned prima ballerina of the Novavik Ballet disappears from Shanghai. Was it with Shanghai? During a performance at Shanghai, the famous dancer was reported missing. She is, of course, the talented young Nicola Nicolina pa Pavlova. Kind of sounds like my name. Now that I think about it, it sounds like my own name, my real name. But, like, of course, with, like, with, like more letters. My name is Paola Pavlova. It sounds like it, right? <laughs> it really does. It's actually based on a real-life ballerina. Fun fact. She's actually based on a real-life ballerina that lived during that same period. Why are these Russian things so hard to remember? Plus Japanese names. But apparently a woman was in costume when she was found missing from her dressing room. Wearing the diamond tiara, you see pictures. It's worth 20,000 rubbles. Oh, damn, that's pricey. <laughs> How much twenty thousand rubles? I have no idea, but I'm quite sure it must have believable sum of money. Sutato San's eyes are shiny like diamonds themselves. The tiara is the property of the Novetic Ballet. It was being directed beside herself of worry. If I'm not surprised, the company is most anxious to recover both Miss ba Balova and the valuable tiara. We requested international assistance while ports were stealing to Great Britain. Could this be another case of Russian fleeing his or her own country? It does seem to be a Russian thing to do. <laughs> I'm never gonna take to find out who responds with Sonata Hodo. 
So, yeah, about the ballerina. So we have the ballerina article and the revolutionary article. So that's going to be important for later. So we have these two articles now in place. Nice. And what were you just investigating? Before we started talking, we were examining Kazuma's test, weren't you? Uh, Kazuma. Ah, yes, the victim. Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Observe for a moment the desktop of the victim. See the victim was engaged in penning some text. London Diary. Kazuma was giving notes for trip. Ah, but... I don't think you should read his private writings and upset people. Tragic is something you ought to pursue, like, to before the act of reading. You you mean you read it already? It is my business to know what other people... What other people do not. Yes, I believe it's a... I'm sorry, Japanese. Oh, I see. But I'm about to know what the takedown is. This is the same. Aren't you gonna throw a detective one of your trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, not a hold son. What are you mean? Life is so unfair! <laughs> anyway, let me turn to the matter. Hand namely, the diary belongs to the victim. It would appear that the final sentence is complete and the offer was cut short. Tell me the nature of his writing, pray to be precise the details. Oh, but I thought you knew Japanese. A smarting, dear boy. A smarting. Sayonara, banzai, mikato. Nado, nado. Trust you're subtly impressed. Uh, uh. But his diaries are really very complicated looking characters, which I can be precisely none. <laughs> so, why is all that showing off about before then? If you're so kind as to show me, I would be happy to read it for you, Mr. Schultz. I'm so much obliged, my dear madam. The final fun entry here is Kazuma Sama's diary consists of two short sentences. The first reads. 1.23 a.m. I can hear a faint whistling sound. A whistling sound. Hmm, the very deep waters. Prep, go on. The second sentence reads, 1.35 a.m. What looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? What on earth does that mean? I have no idea. I never heard that expression before. Hmm, the ventilator grill. You heard of what this person be referring. Up there. Yeah, that's what I was saying the vent. The light test in the wall, which connects to the adjoining cabin. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Kazuma's diary has been entered to the courtyard. So that's gonna be important. So I believe you give it enough to consider a time at least. I don't know, somewhere to go. As it happens, the victim's writing says diary have piqued my interest. The matter of for, for investigation, I believe, still it's long C66 hold. Oh, I suppose. You're thinking of investigating the cabin next door, what the ventilator connects to? Great detectives are curious breed, our minds rebel to stagnation. We crave mental excavation. Oh, yes, I intend to investigate. Heard the truth will become clear soon. Do you think perhaps this could be all we could go with you? Hmm. No, that would be something complicated. What? But why? A simple glance at your wrist revealed the answer. <laughs> oh, please. After all, you're the prime suspect of the matter. No. There's no point in trying to turn it into a question. You're the one who decided I was the culprit in the first place. Whatever do you mean? I have no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. You must be joking! You just said it only a moment ago! Dear me, you are clearly misguided. Oh, that's the such thing. Actually, Mr. Sholmes, I did hear you say that too. <laughs> You're quite sure? Well, that's very strange. <laughs> God damn it. I wouldn't have said you to face a criminal, you know. Not really. So what? Were you looking me on knees before? Some great detective you are. Well, anyway. That is as it is now. What do you mean? What I mean, sir, is this. If you are the culprit, then you must have played a part to more convincingly. Roll over and accept your fate. <laughs> now he's just being plain rude. Can I leave this room? Because I want to go. Because this room is killing me. Gets off left his face. Life is so humorous. Twisted as his name. <laughs> Not a hold of sound. What are you standing there for? Hmm? Must go investigate the cabin next door as well. Aren't you forgetting something? What about these? Oh, yeah! Ow. After Kasuma Sama spent his dying moment struggling to leave as a clue, you're willing to give up? <laughs> you're just going to roll over and accept your fate. Uh, if you didn't listen to the part. <laughs> God damn it. I think we still have to investigate to finish off here, don't we? Let's carry on with this game. 
if we can, is coming one we way to the chest up the door. Good idea. I was so sure she's looking for me, but there's still things I can help myself. And I'll cause you everything I can find a way out of bringing the real cup of justice. So, the biggest thing is this on the floor. This little bell on the floor. The, the knife. We got the Russian. Uh huh, we checked that, we checked that. We checked the cabin. We checked this. We checked that. We checked. We checked the wardrobe. We checked the vents. The only thing we haven't checked left is the door and the sailor. Um, excuse me? What? I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Would you mind if I investigate a little outside? Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but it is not true, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> the criminal asking the prison guard to help him escape. Very funny. <laughs> We're in the middle of the sea! There's no chance of me of escaping unless I jump off the water and kill myself. Niet! You stay in the cabin until next quarter, then it's up to the Hong Kong police to say what they'll do with you. You stay! Alright! Just the boy tried to appeal to the same about the nature, that's for sure. Okay. Door. Can I leave? When I went for help and Krimen forced the door open. The bolt was firmly closed. Hmm, it's quite a small bolt for the search besides how the door shut. But still, door bolted. There's no way I'm become for sure. So I wonder if everyone suspects me. When she glares at me like that, I feel tense up down my spine! I, I remember reading that once in a detective novel. The corporate needle Fred to draw a bolt across the outside of a situation like this. Yes, a clever trick, isn't it? I have a reader detect stories myself. But the dwarf in the cabin is framed made of metal, so they still the took it perfectly. There would be no possibility to use a needle and Fred trick here, I'm afraid. When she glares at me like that, I feel like pins and needles all up down my spine! Oh, look over there. It's another sailor. The crewman, do you mean? He wasn't there before, was he? So I thought. Why don't we try talking to him? Probably because I like to, I'm like to get yellow, but I suppose I could try. Let's go talk to this other sailor. See what he's doing. Is that it? Wait. Ah! Hey, Hosanaga! Oh, no, it's just a crewman standing at the door. I can't help feeling I've seen him somewhere before. Oh, yes, you're right. He does look familiar. Excuse me, sir! Yes? Uh, what can I do for you? It is Hosanaga. I recognize that face, but, but it can't be. <coughs> it is! The blood! I didn't know you were here, Inspector Hosanaga. Hi. Why are you holding it like that even though you have nothing? You know, I understand as close as a waiter, but why like as a sailor? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Hello again. What are you doing here? Hi. I think that should be my line. I'm so stunned when I saw you, my heart stopped. Nearly stopped, I hope. I received some special orders, so I'm going to cover as a member of the crew on board the ship. Again? You certainly seem to cover work, Inspector. If there's anything I can do to help, please ask. I never expected to see this man on board. Perhaps his presence can help you out in this hopeless situation. Special orders. What, what it was it, boy? So what were your special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed like a member of the crew? I'm so sorry. Hmm? This is all my fault. I take full responsibility. For, for what? My orders were to act as a soggy son's bodyguard. It was the Minister of Justice, Jigoku, who pushed this overseas study toward to go ahead. And he entrusted me with the ensuring that asogi son reached Great Brain without being assassinated. ASSASSINATED?! HOW COULD IT EVEN BE A POSSIBILITY?! I'm not sure. But these are complicated times. There are tensions between the world's greatest powers. Minister Jigoku said we should be able to prepare for all eventualities. This is incredible. I... I don't believe it. Kazuma-sama was assassinated? Obviously, we couldn't give asoki san a, a viable security escort. Which is why I'm undercover now, posing as one of the crew. I see. And I didn't take my ass off the entire time we've been on board, from morning until night every day. But I never thought this would happen, here inside this little cabin, in the first class deck. I 
I thought those were all by assignment. There's all the assignment is dead as a result. Battery, shut the fuck up, please. I'm disgrace. All I can do is humbly apologize. The spectre. If there's anything I can do to help now, just say the word. Permission to investigate. We're doing what we could to investigate Kazuma Sama's death. Ourselves. I thought you might be. You didn't do it, did you? You're not the killer. Of course not! I'd like to investigate the cabin next door. Yes, we need to be allowed this cabin. I'm sorry. What? You've been deemed a risk of safety. How am I a risk? You've been moved to touch the handle of the cabin door. The stormy looking sea man will surely snap your neck in two. Yeah, I can tell he definitely will. For a skinny little guy, he might snap my head in two and I can see it in his eyes. <laughs> I suppose I'm not just stowing now, they think I'm a murderer as well. Would it be possible? Give us something to work with, you think? I'm gonna need something persuasive. What do you mean? If I had a solid reason why the duck store should be investigated, for example, I dare think I could persuade the captain to lie, really, by living my life on the line if I had. But I don't see how. There may be a way. What? Really? You say you tried to persuade him? You're innocent. You're innocent, the Hodos. By presenting me with a piece of evidence that you already had in your own possession. Evidence. It's just the same as you were in court most of the many times during your trial. Simply press present to the panel and choose some evidence and you can inspect the whole with. So evidence is a viable reason to get the next door? Alright, yes, I think I might. Let's see the present detective with. Alright, let's see what we can present him with. Hmm, so we have the university collar pin. Imperial. That's the number. Let's go ahead and investigate this. We haven't seen it. My personal student number is engraved on the back here. If you lose your pin, they won't accept you. You may student at the university. You may not come in, they say! <laughs> Of course, you can get a pen new payment just to have number. I actually lost mine twice already, but I still don't know my student number by heart. I always say to myself, I must forget to write it down somewhere, but then I forget not to forget that. <laughs> that is so true, bro. That is so true. Present Kazuma's diary. So, let's go ahead and present this baby. The diary of kept this trip in London. He says he heard a faint whistling sound with speckled band dangling from the ventilator grill. This. What's that? It's Kazuma's diary. Just before he died, Kazuma wrote something rather strange in his diary. Strange? In what way? He wrote what looks like some kind of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? That is strange. Yes, we were still trying to work out what he meant by that, but what we'd like to know is... Don't tell me. The ventilator, is it? You're a very astute inspector. The ventilator clearly joins the next door cabin. That's right, we can investigate there, we might be able to work on the speckled band is. All right then. You're gonna allow it? I can't leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain has given strictly straight forward as a guard to see the crime you see. I'll have to entrust the investigation to you. Really? You're willing to do that? Yes, as long as you don't leave the first class cabin area, I'm afraid I can't remove those handcuffs though. But what about the captain? What could happen with you? I'm a man of my word. Even if I don't kill myself. I promise you that I lay my life on the line if that's what it takes to convince the captain. After all, I failed to keep Asoki san safe, at least as I can do too. Can do. Thank you. We'll see at the moment then. Not a hold of sun. Just like to move and we can move this cabin. Let's move. Alright, let's see if we can find out. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here, boys. We've been in here for like an hour, for almost for an entire hour now. Let's get out of this room! Woo! Finally out of that cabin! I have to admit, this is not quite what I was expecting. It's less spacious out here than I thought it would be. Yes, indeed. I assume my son has been sent to the study tour by the government. That's why it was been put in the first class cabin. Even still, this is about large twice larger combination of steerage. Really? That must be awful. Oh! Look over there! That's another crewman. Keep watch. He looks enormous as he's sitting down. The door next to him leads to second class accommodation. He suppose he's making sure no one else comes in when he should. I suppose. Like people in handcuffs. Not a hold of You look like a little boy visiting a toy shop for the first time. I would have thought you used to ship by now. You've been sea for two weeks already. Well, yes, I know. But the thing is, I was inside Kozuma's trunk when I first came aboard. 
And ever since then, I've been shut up inside the little wardrobe. It must have been a very trying time for you. Please don't give me that pity look. That's a huge book on the top table. There's a pen next to it. Yes, that looks like a ship's log. Should we have a little look at it? Do it. Writing is so neat, precise, every detail of the voyage has been back as it recorded. <laughs> you wouldn't expect a rough and ready sailor to have such beautiful handwriting. And nothing. No reaction at all. We appreciate the compliment. I'm not sure the rough and ready is much of a compliment that'll hold us on even to a sailor. Anyway, last night, logs mostly blank. Personally, that means there was nothing to report. It was strange. Always consider that is strange. Let's talk to the sailor. Uh, excuse me, but could I ask you something? Yo, you let the stowaway murder did it? I didn't do a shit! That wasn't a good start, was it? Alright, let me try this instead. Good day, Mr. Sailor. I'm sorry to trouble you. Can I perhaps ask you something? Yo, you let the third class ladies maid! <laughs> oh, we seem to have caught the sailor on a bad day, Sister the Sun. I am not a sailor, my mother gave me a name. I have seen your crewman, Biff Strongnov. <laughs> Phew, the best thing to avoid eye contact, I think. First class cabin area. Er, Mr. Strongnov, what about this first class cabin area? Here we had to find a spot to bury your steamship, a very important person. Well, sort of very important person. Government officials, gangs, and queens traveling in secret, many important persons. That is why I'm always guarding this place. Gosh, that's amazing. But somehow I let the stupid stowaway inside. I want to pick you up and throw you into the ocean. But strong enough is not animal. Thank you? If I may, I was wondering. Is there the cabin next to Mr. Sogi's currently occupied? <gasps> ah! Uh, Susato-san, did you understand that? It sounded like da. I think it's probably Russian word for yes or no. Genius. <laughs> It's not permitted to visit the cabin. Not investigate. Investigation. Invitation. Well, sounds like at least there's something next door cabin at least. Yes, it's tantalizing. Last night. Um, are you here watching time, Seaman? Strong now? Da. All time. So criminals like you cannot come in or get out. Criminal. I wonder. Could you tell us anything about last night at all? It's sad about student boy. Did you watch last night as well? Of course. Did you notice anything at the time? Anything unusual? Hit! Uh, Susato-san, did you understand that? It was clearly, uh, no. I saw nothing unusual. Nothing at all. You didn't hear any strange noises or sense anything went wrong in some way? I said, no! Sorry! I'm not so sure. I could have sworn that he could catch an eye for a moment there. Passenger in the next door cabin. Could you tell us who's traveling in the cabin next to Mr. Sogis? His name is Mr. Gremsbly Royalot. He's a very important Western gentleman. A Western gentleman? Do not think about it. He has nothing to do with murder that is to the boy. How can you be so sure about that? Mr. Royalot is a authentic Western gentleman. Such a man would be not just a lonely sort of a missing to Far East Islands. That was harsh. Can you tell Sister Royalette come aboard? That's not your business. Come to think of it. Even though we've been asleep for two weeks now, I've been in Kazuma's cabin the entire time. I've never once heard of anything next door cabin or even felt like there's anyone there. Well, presumably since the gentleman's occupying one of the first class cabins, he must have My battery! <laughs> Thank God I have this. Thank God I have this. Woo! There we go. God damn, dude. <laughs> there we go. That's not your business. Oh. It is time for me to report to Captain. Must return to Captain. Yes. Uh, Alright. Don't get to second class area, staying locked at all times. You escape the lobster whistles on top of the mountain, or as English says, 
When the pigs fly. <laughs> yes, I understand. <laughs> I'm gonna kill. Good. We can visit here properly, shall we? Definitely. The book at the top of the bridge really keeps his pen to it. See, I'll look through it. So there's nothing in it at all. So it's mostly blank. Interesting. I thought it was gonna be important for later. Let's see about here. Something wrong? I was thinking we can refer just a moment. Things might not go well for me. Not being wrong, but imagine the woman you reached to handle the word that barely seemed like really should you dead. Oh dear. I'm sorry. I'm a little too far, perhaps. No, I started to, to talk off right away. And then there's no way I could run like Azuma's death remains a mystery anyway. Ship section. Looks like the, the planet of the SS Buria. You should deck look. The Buria is a large scale steamship with triple skinned hull with marble engineering. Well, it's been playing my mind for a while now, but actually, how is it a huge lump of metal does it just sink in the bottom of the ocean? Oh, that's really quite simple, not a whole sign. Is it? Well, consider Japanese archipelago. The islands of Japan. Yes, they're not metal, but they're enormous lumps of earth, many, many times larger than the ship. And they don't sink, do they? Because they've been floating happily in the sea ever since God's created them. Well, I suppose so. And then the mouse trap. Ah! Trap for catching mice! Yes, we have plenty of those back home in Japan. Although they do seem a sack of lump chunk and bird bait. Let me see. Yes, I do think that's called cheese, made from milk of cows. Cheese. I wonder what that tastes like. You can't eat it, Nadahodo san. The trap will snug shut your fingers. Really? But. Oh, I suppose you're right. <laughs> you weren't actually going to try it, were you? <laughs> oh, I've had to eat the past couple of weeks. It's Kazuma's leftovers. You don't know how hungry I've been this whole wardrobe. <laughs> Poor you. Got a little snack. An emergency button. What do you think it is? It's a pleasing shape, is it? That's the emergency alarm, it's not supposed to touch it. Oh, an alarm. It says press only in times of emergency. Looks as though those arm alarm bells ring over the ship and brings the bells to a complete stop. Let's see. What are you doing? How's he supposed to touch it? But it's an emergency situation! Look at his handcuffs! You know full well what the alarm is for! If you were to bring the vessel, stand so it'll go busy in an enforced situation. Ah, uh, hey, you stop the ship included! If you have to do something foolish, at least make it something that doesn't affect anyone else. <laughs> Let's get inside this door, huh? This is it. This is the cabin next hours. The one ventilator connects to. Yes, the ventilator from the witch, because when someone wrote the speckled band origin. So whatever is the cabin solved the particular mystery, let's ask. Knock, knock. No answer. We're out of luck, it seems. How annoying. What was that? Give her these such a high pitched scream. Such as a woman. Stand aside! We'll have to break the door down! Mr. Sholmes? I shall not be stopped. It fits me a reveal of kicking doors and hinges. Please, wait, Mr. Sholmes. The door doesn't look like they bolted. It doesn't? Well, then how are you gonna do so? This patch of muscular urge! What a prank, can I kick? Uh, I think we should go in. Just don't tell the waste. Oh! Who? Who are you? A western gentleman. The man looks Russian to me. We... We heard a woman scream. A woman! Don't be upset! As you can see, there is nobody to be in this gap. True. This old man does appear to be one person in here. But in that case, who just screamed? Get out! All of you! Now! Please excuse the insertion, but you're Mr. Grimsley Roylet, I believe. Yes! That's me. And you are. I am the one and only, the actual Herlock Sholmes. You've heard me know that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great detective among detectives among the covers of popular magazines, no less. <laughs> Alright, so I assure you, you may trust me completely. The man uses that magazine like a business card. A detective? <laughs> I do not trust detectives. <laughs> oh, fuck. I distinctly heard a scream emanate from within the walls. But it would appear to be really concealing yourself in the wardrobe this time. So my tooth bold as a small traveling case. What? Oh, don't be stupid! How can I fit a small trunk like that? Like an maybe a small animal? Well, it's quite fashionable these days. It's not traveling traveling inside one's trunk. Don't look at me! 
Oh my, did, did you see that? And she's like, hold on. Yes, the case just shook. Leave now, otherwise I'll call the steward. So this is Kazuma's neighbor, Mr. Grimsley Roylet. There's no doubt about it. The strange Russian man is hiding something. Couldn't agree more. Let's see if we can find clues before the bird still returns. Let's go ahead and examine, shall we? <laughs> I love how we just pops into existence and just goes to those places. Oh, we have a little cat milk. What do you think you're doing? Ah! This is my cabin. Get out. Can we just have a quick look at the traveling case? Perhaps? No! Okay! Ah, what a pity. Let's take a look. I think you're right. There doesn't appear to be a thing more we can do. I agree, but I wouldn't have to help. Perhaps a great detective somewhere, Mr. Roylet. Hi, I see you there, chilling right there. Uh, have a moment, please, Mr. Sholmes. Hi. So you need to address me as Sholmes. That's just what I did, isn't it? Uh, well, Mr. Sholmes, ah, uh, what do you think you're doing in here? Why? I was resting, of course. Resting? Indeed, I was completely void from the confines of the wardrobe while I was waiting, waiting for the inevitable time. Don't believe me, it's called my capacity induction service. Oh! And it seems that the hour is upon us now. The time has come. And if I'm mistaken, well, no, actually, you're spot on for once. Observe closely. We're gonna have our first deduction in the game. Our first deduction ever. Our two counts in the cabin, Mr. Roylet is clearly trying to hide something. Who you know is the most effective weapon against a Russian hidden hiding a secret? A Russian? Why? The truth, of course. Although, I would have pointed out that such weapons are exclusively for the Russians. <laughs> right. Can you imagine how the Russians will react when they see the secret he guards so closely is exposed? Would you like to walk us in? Oh, yes, please! Well then. What are you about to see what's done, you? For I am about to play the greatest detective great and my great deduction to the case. Our first deduction. Let's go. So basically what's gonna happen here is in a nutshell In a nutshell, basically like basically like you basically what you do is Sholmes is basically gonna try to or Holmes is basically gonna try to like kinda like basically go like, oh, he found this, and then you're basically gonna correct them with things that he did wrong, you're gonna correct them. Could be a man where he can portray a dubious Russian, I asked him. What? From time to time, it occurs to me. Is the fellow of dubious accent his Russianness or Russian on account of his dubiousness? I really don't think it's so it should be the kind of thing. These boys. Oh my god, Fabrice. <laughs> Yes, beer and dark glasses are hard to ignore, especially at first meeting. But once I read, its capital mistake appears before you have evidence based on judgment. That was a complete silence. What are you doing? Why are you beating up my face like that? Russian man. Just as I thought. Yes, you quite like Hmm. There will be no other explanation that comedy facts. It's really a reach to incredible conclusions. Love you. And then Kuka. Boyo! And those shears are about to exist of something most dear. Are you hot? Huh! And number two, what a conclusion I've drawn. You are. Fairborn with my ass in the midst of committing the most grievous crime. There's nervous tension as you've been discovered. Does it not? Gah! Oh, I'm not a hot son. They're imagining with Mr. Sholmes' great deductions in my own eyes. That was great deduction. Nothing can deceive Mr. Sholmes. You know, I see that's just all there is in that person. What? What is that for the water? Oh, yes. I've read about a countless times in the adventures of Herlock Sholmes, and I've experienced the astonishing impact of great deduction firsthand. The dream come true. Close the door. I hardly believe it, but I'll cut his dream from Mr. Roylet's face. Looks like somehow both Mr. Sholmes' conclusions were right. How? How could you? There must be no such phase, you wish to say. Very well then. I shall admit it. I shall explain how to wrap this pair of conclusions. So that according to the to journey logical discovery, let's board a train of reasoning. But plainly, let's work from deductions together. 
The great deduction. The game is afoot. Here we go. Old man's identity. So the dubious looking Russian, Mr. Royal is obviously a casual design in the first place. It's the enormous pair of shears in your hands. Now we ask ourselves, what could possibly want such an implement? The answer, of course, is staring at the face. You were on the verge of using the Now moving on. Hmm, that's wrong. So anything that's wild had red text is wrong, and you have to correct it. The question is back to this. Why would you desire- I'm just trying to fix my mic. Bear yourself a mic to some beer, Mr. Roilet. Once again, the answer is plain. We clearly shed a light in the matter. It's kind of like staticky right now, my ears. If you will, the morning's newspaper. Particularly fascinating uh, for front page article. Which would appear you have Mr. Roilet, so apparently that is important. I'm sure it needs no further clarification. The evidence that reveals your true identity. This article about the revolutionary. No, it's the wrong one. The translation headline reads revolutionary Vilim Broskovi flees Russia by Shanghai. As you cannot fail to observe, the subject of the article possesses extremely copious a beard. But the mustache is different. You know, to the article yourself decides to remove the incriminating facial hair before you give you away. The short to your true identity is beyond that. Not the fearsome Russian missionary himself, Velim Broskovi. Not that I've heard of myself, you understand. Inclusion, a revolutionary on the run. Wrongdoing. Now, as for a second conclusion. Oh boy, here we go. You are at this very moment on the brick of committing the most grievous crime. I prefer the crime over there. Oh yeah, this is a riot. Take it unaware as people of prosperity let their eyes stray, you see? <gasps> ah! And I assure you that I speak much more eloquently and honestly than the mouth. When the answer we stick lies in front of your glances. The proof of your crime says before your very eyes. Yes, the traveling case! It's time I think if you open this contest laid bare. No, I refuse! What could possibly be concealing inside, we ask? Do my observation. A young lady, perhaps, or a slight even if it's unfair. Or an animal. D don't be absurd! Don't be absurd! Uh, what prey could be at the young lady in a traveling case? Dear me, we're not supposed to do that crime, are we? Let's cook. Careless cook diary betrays you. Once again, we need to follow up to find the answer. Yes, the refuse to open this traveling case because we can find the newspaper pages. For a stimulating article. Revolutionary again. We're trying to play in the back page. The ball the the tiara. The renowned pre prima ballerina Novadic Ballet disappears to Shanghai. Such a headline can lead to one conclusion. But you're the ballerina. Your crime is abduction. And according to the article, the young lady's name is Nico Nicolina Pavlova. Which is actually based on a real person. But with slight difference. That's the great deduction. So of course we're gonna fix that. Of course we're gonna fix that and actually make it what it actually is. So Septo said, wasn't about the great deduction I've been hearing about much was it? Well, the stories are full of Mr. Shell's real deductions, you know. But that did seem a little different somehow. Excuse me, Mr. Shell, could you come over here for a moment? <clears throat> Pray, we're gonna do for you. It's about your deductions. Would you mind? Not at all. Go on. Well, to start with the newspaper article, we think of the discussion before, but just two men look nothing like each other. Ah, uh, yes, you recall discussion at the time. I believe I told you that the man's revolutionary who was revolutionary his own appearance. Uh, in fairness, Mr. Sholmes, uh, Mr. Villa does look more like this man than you do. That's not the point. The other timing, mean, the part of him abducting a ballerina. Indeed, a truly standing revelation. Even ballerina can't fit in that trunk. First guys appear too small, they come to a young woman. No, she's first guys, it is too small! Clearly, you've been lucky to fit a five year old child into that case if you need to push really hard. I suppose Miss Missing Ballerina is a five year old child, is she? You mean you don't know? 
think the young lady is 15. No, I didn't know. How could I? Hmm, well, if she is 15, the 10 years worth of her would be poking under that case. Some years ago, I read Crimp, I believe. A trope of men consuming vinegar daily in order to promote the red liftiness in their bodies. Vinegar? I tried to borrow a bunch of vapor simplicity to consort itself in the confines of a small case. Oh dear, you may think of a cornerness in the circus, Mr. Schultz! Uh, this whole thing is turning into a circus. I still have a hold of something has occurred to me by Mr. Schultz's seductions just now. I think this fire observation of gold magical has come from the heart of matter almost instantly. It's just where it directs attention is logic that seems a little off. Your idea is a little, maybe a little off. It's softly susceptible. It's just two keywords deductions have seemed to let him down, so I'm wondering. There might be a perhaps tactical switch or alternatives. What do you think? Hmm, so switch keywords and deductions. Yes, we've tacked the folding. We could do that. We've locked the true genius of Mr. Shulm's great deduction. Precisely for the thought that was going to my own head. This man is a lot of work. At times, I wonder how many one could put with me. <laughs> That's not that funny. Ah, you, my good fellow. Sorry? Take a moment to look at your wrist. My wrist? Oh! Uh, where are your handcuffs? Huh? How did- I found that it may hinder your ability to follow me in your dance of deduction. I don't believe it. Mr. Sholmes, you are a marvel. And don't worry, I shall restore your shackles to your wrist when we're finished. Oh, I am not worried. In fact, I'd rather stay like this. So, let us begin. Herlock Sholmes is proud to present the Logic and Reasoning Spectacular. So now, it's our turn, and we're gonna do it. Course correction. Hold it, Mr. Sholmes. The old man's identity. Revolutionary on the run. Let's change that, shall we? Here we go. So, do we still question Mr. Willis obviously catches the eye in the first place? And the correction. This enormous pair of shears you have in your hand. Now we ask ourselves, what could possibly want such an implement? I think we know. You see something there sticking out in the back of it? You see a little, little, little piece right there? <laughs> of course, staring at the face in the face. You're on the verge of using the shears to cut away a copious beard, you sport. It ain't the beard. Hmm, I'm not sure. We can really shears like that to cut off a beard. I thought it's something you have to worry about. Doesn't matter to me. I don't see him sitting right there, sort of Which means, as well as deduction is wrong. Try to switch a key in metal. All right, but how? Maybe we should start talking about this. I wonder if he's really done using the shears on. Exactly. Find something that seems to fit his sense of shears deduction better. Then what? I'll be really dressed to keep my hands on the whole side. Why am I the one to do something like that? That's well. Anyway, we'll see if the final answer is sentence. What exactly, Mr. Will, are going to do with the shears? Up, oh, golden locks. What the? What's this? It looks like a cascade of stunning golden locks. No, 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 the color is not the point. The point is, what's hiding in the back of Mr. Willard's head? This looks like underneath his thick black hair. Well, yes, that's true. So stunningly beautiful. Something definitely is not right here. Hey! Golden locks! Here we go. Let's go. You were on the verge of using the shears to cut away the golden locks you sport. Indeed, you have it. That's a precisely thought. Was it intended to express? <laughs> Such lush golden hair certainly does not befit an old man. You're not a man at all. You're a woman. And judging from the length of the sheer in your hair, what is still very much here? You've oh, or no? If only I wish to get that from my head and really respected. Question then begged it this way, you desire to rid of your mechanism and locks. Once again, the answer is plain. We clear evidence to shed the light on the matter. The newspaper article. But it's a different article. You tried to do the article by revolutionary. Well, that was a shock. An idea old man was really a young woman in disguise, did you? What? Why are you trying to me like that? Yes, it was a surprise. Not to hold the sun. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Sorry? You look like you're an element to dance around the room deducing facts of Mr. Sholmes. I'm just doing what we agreed. I I I'm not having fun or anything. This is strictly business, not strictly co Yes, yes, I understand. Say no more. Well, anyway, let's focus on this part of Mr. Sholmes' deduction. The evidence I picked out is facts was all... No, it's true. It's given by actually a woman. Exactly. He, or rather she, could be as a nurse as a revolutionary. I suppose because deduction as a whole has taken a different direction now. Yes. Let's switch the evidence to something. Facts. For some reason, the woman needs to try to hide her true identity. I thought so was a young woman like this. All right, do my best. The ballerina. This is actually super easy. Bloop. The evidence that reveals your true identity is, of course, the article about the ballerina. That's right. You hit the nail on the head. 
renowned prima ballerina of the Nova Dick Ballet disappears from Shanghai. It would appear that we're finally able to address you by your true name. Yes, because your true identity is the is a Novik Ballet's prima ballerina. Miss Nicol Nicolina Pavlova. There she is. You're right. My real name is Nina. I mean, Nicolina Pavlova. But please, I beg you, don't tell me. A ballerina on the run. Solved. Time for the second course. Kidnapping of your ballerina was wrong because we know she's the ballerina. Now, as for a second conclusion. Which is wrong. <laughs> you are the fair woman to bring up committing the most grievous crime. And that proof of the crime is over there. Oh, yes, Miss Bavorova. Taking awareness, you're possibly going to go astray. I assure you, the eyes sparkle much more of your honesty than the mouth. The answer we seek is very glances. It's in that case. Yes, in a traveling case. But what if it's not? This one is Valerina, she's trying to find her eyes, so clearly she can't be inside a traveling case as well. No, that's right, this is a witch in case. She's crying, young woman's about currently committing. <laughs> Let's see if there's a step to fix the great tux of stick again. She seems to look pleased now to hold the sun. Do you like the idea of another chance to dance around with Mr. Holmes? Stop it! Anyway, there must be something else that shows this woman is up to. Nice paper, guys. Just so we have a look inside. Not a hold of sun. It's poor adequate, it's so much rubbish. Ugh, those eyes! Just look at them, it's rubbish now. However, this is what it I think. Exactly, we have no choice. There's no thinking here at all. Oh, well, just a little bit splitting. Bottles. Books. Tiara. The tiara! This is it, here we go, we found it. Wow, it's dazzling tiara. Never seen anything like his real diamonds. Oh, not a hold of sun, trying to- What? Me?! Is that usually girls who are tiara? Is really like to try it? Oh no, I think possibly it's far too beautiful. What is it tiara from earlier? I feel like I've seen this one recently. It's a tiara. Hi. It's a tiara. Yep. Here we go. The proof is a crime. Surely it's this tiara. Ah. I believe the tiara is the one on stage that dances in no in Nova Geek Ballet, isn't it? Like you for yourself. Indeed, it would appear the identical tiara picture in this paper article. It is reporting to believe this one uh, item's worth 20,000 rubles. In summary, it's worth a fuck ton of money. In that time, the crime you have committed is theft. Oh no. Yes, you have a ballet trap and I want to take any- Aha! I have no one, no family, no friends, I'm all alone and I need money. But I did not steal the other. It was a present from, how do you say, an Earl of Borasia. It belongs to me! This girl is only 15 years old and she's run away all by herself? She must have been extremely lonely. And ballets are not very pretty of us, they say they are, by the way, just as a reminder. I mean, yeah. Alright, I will tell you. There's no point in hiding it now. Come, come, let us not be hasty. What? There's only a mystery about you. Mystery? What do you mean? The case, what's inside it? What's inside this case? If you refuse to open the traveling case, your presence the reason to conclude is there must be a reason for this. Is that not so, Miss Bavlova? My dear girl, six of playing games with me as we escape my attention. Indeed, I have a very good idea of the contents of your case, even if we laid eyes on them. I think I have an idea what it is inside. Dear me, why did I will sit in like a crime army because Copley betrays you? Once again, we need to tell you from the words. Yes, there is an open the books on the shelf! Oh, this is new. You can really change the tactic deduction now. I think Mr. Sholmes intended the logic of changing circumstances, don't you? Maybe, why did I about the bookshelf and all this? It's a wild guess, surely. Oh, do you think so? Well, this is like the reason you're the only one in your case. Your random book doesn't even belong to her. Yes, that's true, but still. Was there the cast rising direction knows herself? It was another reason why she opened her case. And it must be somewhere in the same area. Her gaze momentarily is in the answer. Whatever she was hidden inside this case, should be revealed inside the bookshelf. 
Small picture. It's not the bookshelf. Cabin door. Rules of passage. Books up the shelf. God on the shelf. Uh, let's see. It's not the picture. What's in this picture? It's a charming picture, isn't it? What is it? Is climbing stuck a mountain? It's the same, it seems to me. Well, you've been a while since the mountains. The cabin door. The metal door. Yes, it's the bowl of as well. Both Miss Bobadoff's are actually glancing over there as a shelf. What would suggest desire to run away from the cabin? Hmm, maybe. Rules of passage. It's the rules of passage, isn't it? Because there's no animals. Passenger must not keep weapons or dangerous. Passenger is also strictly prohibited. One pair of the breaks the rules. Oh dear, quite few severe. You probably go up to the prison below. Sure, shut inside his handy wardrobe for days on end. So I've been actually been serving time for weeks now, have I? <laughs> it's the it's the rules of passage because there must be an animal inside, right? And plus, I saw milk on the floor. Plus, you guys saw milk, a little little table of milk on the floor. Yeah, that's that's for cats. It's the rules of passage. <laughs> there we go. Rules of passage, boys. It's not the door. Yes, the reason I refuse the case is written rules of passage. Passengers must not keep weapons under dangerous objects in the cabin. Pets are also strictly prohibited. Forbidden. Besides the case of your something forbidden carriage in the vessel. A pet. That is the reason we refuse to open a passenger building's contest. I hate. What you've seen is transformable from time to time, but no weapon under dangerous item will move moving forward. It's an animal. Which seems to be possibly better than a traveling case. It's an animal. It's the last item forbidden in the vessel's rules passage. A pet! Oh. Possession of a prohibited animal. Solved. Deduction completed. That's our first deduction. Oh my god. Please, Windows, I don't fucking care. Thank you. So clearly, you already said you were. No, I am not Grimsby Royalet. My real name is Nic Nicolina Pavlona. Everything you said was correct. You ask Gonda during your battle's company before Mazor to escape the homeland. Later that same night, you stole aboard this vessel. Which could have happened easily. So we assume she should really have snuck aboard without being noticed. Or she had help from the crew. In order to obscure your true identity, you somewhat recklessly took the guise of an old gentleman. And you intended to serve all the links of your costume, so you long hair. But to the woman, hair is no trifling matter. A person recognition to leave well alone. So, was it just you? About to cut your own hair? Who was that to let out the scream we heard from outside the cabin? Never really thinking that? Why? None other than the young lady, naturally. More like a full set of pipes, if you ask me. So scary when I ran away to Shanghai, I wasn't sure they'd come looking for me. That's why I decided to, how do you say, disgust myself and no one would recognize me. As a result, you transformed yourself into a questionable old man, I see. I put on the fur hat and fake beard, and just before you came in here, I saw the newspaper. Right on the page, there was a picture of me. I was so frightened, I could have stopped sc from screaming. I knew that I didn't change my appearance completely. They would find me. So I decided to cut off my hair as fast as possible, pick up scissors in my hand, and. At the precise moment, we walked through your annoyingly unlocked cabin door. Looks like the is still there. Mario, come here! Things really happen like that from time to time. Are those people talking about the same thing? That's just one more thing I'd like to know. What's inside? What exactly do you have inside your traveling case? You were right. In a dear friend inside. Only friend in the whole world. Please, don't tell anyone. They could have to find Zelda and give the crew. Your secret safe with us, I assure you. But in return, you must tell us if such details you muster about the events of last night. Yes, alright, I will tell you. Well, Mr. Narahura, wasn't it something, Mr. Shonsky deduction? It was certainly something, yes. I'm just not entirely sure what. But at least Miss Babula has agreed to tell us what she knows is incredible. Indeed, it is incredible! Ah, one more thing. Oh, yes, what? Observe your wrist. My- Damn it! Ah, 
your hands. Costigan. What? But, uh, how? Mario, come here, boy. Here's my word. I have a certain shackles. <sighs> what and why? There's still a shadow gill cast over you, Miss Madahoda. I'm sorry to say. I still can't be helped anymore. Oh, can it really? Anyway, let's listen to what Spawn has to say. I'm gonna go not knowing. I'd find out what a speckled band it goes in with Summer Rose if there really was. What happened last night? Did you know someone was killed in the cabin next door to one last night? One of the crewmen told me this morning when I was eating breakfast. The man who died, he was my friend of mine. Oh! That's why I turned to find out what happened. Did you notice anything unusual last night? Perhaps you heard a strange noise, for example? Perhaps people talking? Perhaps the ship was absorbed with a wild tempest? Perhaps a steam engine exploded? Perhaps everyone on board would have noticed if that had happened? Miss Favrova, is there anything you can tell us? I don't know. I'm sorry, but all I could think about last night was what I'd done, whether they could find me. I didn't know what was happening around me. Oh, I see. Running away. You've run away from a ballot company, haven't you? The Nova Kick Ballet. Nova Vich. Yes, I'm traveling to Great Britain. From there, I want to go to America. I will never dance again. I want to forget everything about the ballet. I will start a new life. You should forget. A challenging proposition. You have a striking tiara as a reminder. That tiara is mine. I need to live. I have no money of my own. The Novrig Ballet is only little food and water in the sense of the world. I had to run away. I had no choice if I stayed. They would have killed me. So you ran away to protect yourself. Yes, the crew of the ship, they've been so kind to me. They let me come on board and said that they would hide this guy. So indeed it is true for Spadrona. It creates most intriguing conjurum. Yes, it does. What did you think about this? Hold on. Me? Oh uh, yes, of course. I think I should have this explanation. To whom conjurum, I'm not sure, but Conjurum. Miss Bob, I'd like to pose you a riddle. According to this newspaper, it was only yesterday that you absconded from the ballet. Now, in any case, it must have been last night that you boarded this vessel. However, the SS Budia stopped in the port last night. Ah, that's right, of course! So, how is it, pray, you come to be aboard? Now that I think about it, the crewman outside the cabin acted very strangely when you, when you mentioned that. It was just after we asked if the occupant of the cabin came aboard. But that's not your business. Yes, you're right. He does seem to be hiding something. An angel descended from the heavens, bringing grace and beauty to the stage. Sorry, what was that? That's how the Russian newspapers describe one of my performances. And that is how I came here, too. I descended from the heavens, because I am an angel. Considering English is in your mother tongue, your description is very vivid. Mr. Schoenf once said, I can never visit the touch of the dramatic scenes with Babola, it's the same. Our genius descended from the heavens, bringing grace and beauty of deduction. Words once said about myself. <laughs> Apart from wonderfully extravagant advertisement to the adventures of her luck shows, in fact. <laughs> yes, yes, Mr. Showy! Anyway, it doesn't look like Miss Baba is gonna tell us what really happened. Friend. So the friend you mentioned is that traveling case, is that right? I don't think animals were allowed on board according to the rules of passage. This hotel, this hotel did a crew. But they found my precious. Then the burly bushes would, would disturb themselves so you just do your own case of right. <gasps> yeah! So reassuring, Mr. Sholmes. But what sort of has been? A little puppy? I isn't he? Isn't he? 
Maybe an adorable little rabbit? No? Huh, your credit rushes land of small rabbits, do you? Oh, don't they have small rabbits here? You may as well ask. I have no idea! <laughs> you two are mis miserable burglars when it comes to understanding the nature of young ballerina's friends. Isn't it obvious? It's Miss Big Chicken! <laughs> really? Considering the benefits of rousing wake up call, daily fresh eggs, and when advertising strikes, every Saturday needs assistance. So you eat your friends. I'll remember that. No! Well, it would appear his friends have dentistry. It's closely similar to real. <laughs> she obviously doesn't quite trust us yet. There's something I'd like to show her, I think. Maybe I'll be able to shed some light on it. This is the diary of a friend who passed away. His diary? Yes, and he wrote in the last night before he died, so I think it's a little unusual. It reads, 1.23 a.m., I can hear a faint whistling sounds, and then a few minutes later, 1.35 a.m., it looks like some sort of speckled band. It's from Vengeance Grile. Oh, no, I'll be right back.